Um, thank you very much, Nancy and uh, Frank and Absentia, uh, the center, and uh, very much uh, Kurt Windsor for his support of this event, and also uh, the panelists who uh, have uh, given their, I think, extremely excellent uh, testimony. I'm going to talk very briefly about three things. And then, unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave, and I apologize to Kurt. I will not be able to stay for, for your comments. Uh, but before that, let's, let me just briefly say the, uh, the Venezuelan Indian tribe, the Yu, which were mentioned, uh, first the government expelled uh, Christian missionaries that were working at the Yu, and then Iranian uh, clerics went to that region and proselytized the Indians. The Indians didn't just all of a sudden get a, a revelation from Allah that they should become Muslim. They were proselytized by, by Iranian clerics who are now working with other tribes in, 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 um, in Venezuela and, and uh, throughout the Amazon region. Okay, the first thing I want to, uh, first point I want to make is that I think you uh, have heard enough to realize, I hope, that uh, Hugo Chavez's Venezuela is not just an annoyance to the national interests of the United States, it is a threat to the national security of the United States. Uh, it, in, and that the U.S. government is doing, for all practical purposes, nothing about it. Uh, there is one, one partial exception, and that is the Treasury Department. I'll we'll talk about that a little bit. The Treasury Department has desperately wanted to take measures against uh, various entities in, um, in Venezuela and has, with a few exceptions, been talked out of it by other departments of the U.S. government, uh, particularly one that is in an area that used to be a swamp uh, known as Foggy Bottom, but it will remain nameless. <laughs> The second point I want to make is that we, and when I say we, I'm talking about uh, Global Resources and Solutions. Uh, Martin is my partner in that entity. Uh, we have documentary proof of everything that's been said here. For example, we have the, uh, the incorporation documents of the, Venezuela, of the Iranian bank in Venezuela with all the, the directors, all of whom are Iranians. Uh, and we also have uh, indications of, uh, not indications, we have proof of the activities of that bank uh, and the movement of, of uh, funds between that bank and Venezuelan banks, uh, particularly Banesco, but also other Venezuelan banks because um, one of the major activities of Iran in Venezuela is is avoiding or circumventing uh, the financial sanctions that were imposed by the European Union, uh, the United States, and the UN on the Iranian banking system, as was mentioned. Uh, we have internal documents of the Central Bank of Venezuela which demonstrate, um, Gustavo mentioned $30 billion of reserves. Those are the gross reserves. The actual free reserves of the Venezuelan Central Bank are negative. As of July, it was minus eight billion dollars. Uh, in other words, the central bank of Venezuela is technically insolvent, which is another way of saying bankrupt. Uh, PDVSA hasn't got a dime. Uh, the Royal Bank of Scotland just withdrew an offer of financing of four billion, four point three billion dollars to uh, PDVSA because they discovered that there was no way PDVSA could pay it back. Uh, Japan advanced three and a half billion dollars. China advanced four billion dollars uh, to be paid with oil. Right now, Venezuela ain't got the oil with which to pay China, for example, and the CFO of PDVSA is in China right now trying to work things out and saying, well, you know, we just got to stretch it out longer and so on and so forth because they don't have the oil to send to China, which has been prepaid by the Chinese who don't like that doing that business that way. Uh, they, they really object to that sort of activity on the part of suppliers. Um, we have um, copies of the contracts signed by PDVSA with uh, the Chinese Petroleum Company, with Petropars, and with Ucoil, um, and other interior, internal documents of, of PDVSA. 
which demonstrate um, uh, what uh, terrible shape the, the company is in, uh, as was outlined by Gustavo. We have armed forces training documents about, uh, for instance, uh, their, their new doctrines of asymmetrical warfare, what was talked about by Angel. I mean, these are now official documents of the Venezuelan army uh, to, for training purposes, uh, to train the, uh, the Venezuelan uh, soldiers in asymmetrical warfare in case the United States should happen to uh, invade. Um, in other words, what I'm telling you, and I, I want to emphasize this, these are, not, these are not allegations, what you've heard up here. We can prove everything that's been said, and we can prove it, in most cases, by the actual documents that underlie it. And if any of you um, are interested in that ability, uh, we would be more than happy to talk to you. And we would be even happier to talk to your bosses if you are, um, if you work for uh, congressional committees, uh, senators, or representatives. Okay, the third thing I wanted to say, and then I'm finished, and I'll, I can stay for another couple of questions, but that's about it, unfortunately, is what, what, did, what do we do about this? Well, uh, Otto Reich um, uh, stole my thunder on one of them, which is that, uh, there's absolutely no reason why we should not declare Venezuela a state sponsor of terrorism, and many reasons why we should do that. Uh, we should actually have done it right after the uh, right after Interpol uh, declared that that the Reyes documents uh, had not been tampered with, and it would not be a problem whatsoever for the United States, and would not create a spike in the oil price. Why? Because we've got all those millions of gallons of, I mean, of tons of oil stored underneath Louisiana in caves. It's called the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. Now, what is the point of the Strategic Petroleum Reserve? It is to use it when we have situations of emergency. It's not that we are chipmunks. And that we like to store things and then forget all about them. There's oil underneath Louisiana. I'm not talking about drilling it. You don't have to drill it. It's already been drilled. And it was only recently that Congress forced the administration to stop buying oil to put in the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. 70,000 barrels a day. The United States was mindlessly adding to the Strategic Petroleum Reserve while the, petroleum, the oil price was going to $140 a barrel. If that isn't the height of, of stupidity, I don't know what is. I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional about this. Okay, no, I mean, it's, it's my good. tax money as well as yours that went into that. Never bad. So all we would have to do is say, we declare Venezuela a state sponsor of terrorism for reasons A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, all the ones that have been talked about uh, this morning. One of the things we're going to do is cut off purchases of petroleum from Venezuela. Oh, my God, that's terrible. I mean, uh, you know, that's, 